The United States has hit 40 million COVID-19 cases this week, and many of those are long haulers, people who have had to deal with lingering symptoms months after they were first diagnosed. We spoke with 29 year old Michaela Dreyer, a healthy woman who says her COVID-19 infection with a loss of smell and taste and a fever. Months later, though, things got more severe. Exhaustion, a rapid heart rate and dizziness all started to drastically affect her. My dizzy spells were so frequent that I ended up using a wheelchair at work teaching summer school because otherwise I was going to pass out. I thought I would be fine and I wasn't. Um, I'm not. There are 400 patients in the clinic dedicated to helping long haulers at the University of Kansas Health System. Michaela's condition is improving, but she still has months of physical therapy and medications to get through. Doctors say the best way to prevent experiencing those long term COVID-19 symptoms is to get vaccinated. Kansas hospitals are getting $50 million from the state to help deal with staff shortages amid the COVID-19 surge. Hospitals must use that money to boost employee wages or improve retention for nurses and support staff. Time now is 511 and Jackson County has again shut down a Blue Springs restaurant. Ray's Cafe now closed officially because of a temporary restraining order put in place by a judge yesterday. Cafe is closed because it violated Jackson County's mask mandate several times. The owners reclassified Ray's as a private club last week to continue operating in violation of that health order and without a valid food permit. The temporary restraining order will last for 21 days or until that matter is settled in court. Missouri Governor Mike Parson says the show me state opposes the Biden administration's new vaccine mandate. White House wants the Occupational Safety and Health Administration to make companies with 100 or more workers require vaccinations or weekly testing. Governor Parson releasing a statement calling that mandate, quote, unconstitutional publicity stunt. He adds the state is ready to oppose the mandate with strong legal action. Governor Parson, not the only governor to make this kind of threat, but President Biden says he's not worried about any legal threats to this plan. Have at it. Look. I am so um, disappointed that uh, particularly some of uh, Republican governors have been so cavalier with the health of these kids, so cavalier with the health of their communities. This is, this is, we're playing for real here. This isn't a game. 